Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Um, if you've been watching the recent vlogs, you'll see um, I've been lucky enough, I've been given some new wedges. So um, I'm using the PM Grind Callaway Mac Daddy, and I'm also using the Mac Daddy 3s. So I thought I'd just do a quick video, kind of talk you through the specs of them and kind of why I've changed. So the Mac Daddy 3. Um, the big difference between my Mac Daddy 2s, I mean a, a wedge that I really liked, was A, I've gone for the different colour. I mean, shock, I think you probably noticed that as well. These are black, my previous ones were chrome. Um, on a serious note, um, if you're ever thinking of changing your wedges, um, a darker coloured wedge, they tend to look a little bit smaller. So uh, obviously they'll be the same size, but they tend to look a bit smaller. So um, I like my wedges to look really compact, really sharp. I've said in previous videos I hate when they look quite round and bubbly. So the black finish on these, do you mean I just think they are beautiful. Um, I, in the past I haven't gone for the black because um, they were putting like white lines across the grooves and I just, I just didn't like it. Whereas these, a little more traditional on the, on the grooves front. So yeah, this is this is nice and doing it. I'm really, really enjoying them in the black. Uh, the second reason that I've changed is the bounce options. So I tend to be a player that can get quite steep with uh, the wedges. So a little more bounce is going to certainly help me. So if I go and get like the 54 that I'm using, um, you'll see it's a, a 54 uh, 12 but it's got a very wide sole as well so the wider the sole it will actually kind of boost the effective bounce so for me massive sole big bounce is really going to help me especially going into the winter so if you're somebody that tends to get a bit steep I mean I would be certainly recommending as much bounce as you can get uh, bounce is sometimes not understood that well and people will go well I play on a link so I need like quite tight contacts and I don't want the bounce to like jump up. Um, I would argue if, you, if you're feeling like that it might be a little bit with your technique because uh, these tend to, it helps the contact, it tends to glide a little bit better. Sometimes brings the flight down a little bit as well so all these sort of things are really good and can be really beneficial to your wedge play especially sort of your pitches from sort of 60-70 yards. So yeah I've been, been really really impressed with these bounces. Um, I got the 58, so my intention, so you'll see I've got a 5811 here, really, really like it, was planning on putting it straight in the bag, uh, but I had been trying the PM grind, and if I'm honest, my intention wasn't really to use the PM grind for that long, I just wanted to have a play around with it really and see, see what it was like. And um, I have been really impressed. And the reason I don't feel like I can take this one out of the bag is with the way that it's designed, you can kind of play shots that you don't feel like you can play with a traditional wedge. So my fear is if I take it out, I'll get into a position where I, I, can't, I can't play the shot or I feel like I'm compromised by not having it. So like one of the one of the big differences. So if you haven't seen it before, because you'll see a quite quite a few of the YouTubers have got them in the bag. Um, they've made the toe a lot higher, and the grooves go all the way out to the toe. So what, the idea behind it, and this this has come from Phil Mickelson. Uh, Phil Mickelson was a great fan of the Ping I two wedges. So again, if you've ever seen those ones, they are a very similar shape to this. But what it what it does is it allows you when you like open it up in thick rough. If you give it a big whack, you're not afraid of going underneath it. Um, I found in bunkers, if I've got like a high lip and I'm really close, I can open it up fully and I'm not afraid of leaving it in there. Do you mean I'd be lying if I said it guarantees I get it close every time, but I feel like I can kind of be a bit more aggressive and try a shot that I might not play if I had a standard wedge, because I'll either hit it close or it definitely comes out. So yeah, I've been I've been really impressed with this wedge. It's um it's strange looking at first. And like when I, when I first saw it, I thought that is a bit uh, ugly on the eye. Do you mean if you were in the nightclub and you saw it in the corner, you would probably walk over to, to young Ms. Mac Daddy 3. But once you, uh, once you spend a bit of time with it, um, it becomes 
quite normal looking. Because like, I was always surprised, like Phil Mickelson not only uses his high, highest lofted wedge in it, he also uses his 56. And I, mean, I, I couldn't kind of work out why you would do that, because if you've got this one in the bag at the most loft, why would you then go, well, I need to open up my 56? Um, Phil is Phil, so he, he probably does open it up anyway. But uh, no, no, I, I, I actually come to quite like the look of it. And I've been playing full shots as well, I, I found they, they've been absolutely fine. So I've gone to a 60, so I, I've been probably the last couple years, maybe a bit longer now actually, I've been using a 58 degree, especially when I was playing with just the 52 and then the 58, it was just to make sure there wasn't too big a gap. But as I've gone to 50, 54, I thought I would just try the 60. So again, it's just to allow me to hit it slightly higher. And I felt like as I've got the 54, um, I've, I've kind of got that option. So that was the reason I went to 60. Um, I've got the Mac Daddy 3 and 58. So if I did feel like I wanted to go back to 58, I would obviously go into that one. But uh, at the minute, I, mean, I, I can't justify taking this one out. Uh, it's got quite a cool bounce as well, so um, if you've ever seen Phil Mickelson play or you know anything about his wedge play, he does tend to get quite steep. He likes that sort of hinge and hold technique and uh, he, he likes to really use the bounce. It's almost got a kind of a double bounce, there's almost like a little groove in here. And again, that's, that's great for players that get steep. And it's also um, really good for like bunkers if you don't tend to open up too much because you can actually play a lot straighter, a lot linear and actually still get the bounce working and really get it moving through the turf. So, it pro and probably as Phil uses a 64, that's probably why he's gone for that sort of bounce because he can really just stay square and really pop it underneath. So yeah, I've been, I've been really impressed with this wedge. And um, like I say, I've been fortunate enough that I, I was sent one just to, just to try. And I uh, thought it would be a bit of a gimmick, thought it would be a bit fun to use around my short game area at the uni, but that was, would be as far as it goes. But uh, I, I've been really impressed, even like my last round I played, you know, I, I put it into a stinking, a stinking lie over the back of one of the greens. And was just able to open it up and really pound on it. Had a great up and down on one of the vlogs as well with it. Again, uh, not saying it can't be done with another wedge, but it certainly felt easier, easier with this one. Yeah, they're obviously still C Taper X, all about the C Taper, and the grips on these are pretty cool as well. So um, they don't actually do this in a mid-size, but when you order them, you can actually ask them to put wraps underneath. So um, they actually are a lot thicker than the standard, even though they don't offer this colour in a mid-size. So uh, yeah, all customed up, one degree flat, but yeah, really, really impressed with them. And, uh, Again, if, if you've been struggling with your wedge play, I, I would really look into the bounces and see is there, a, is there a wedge out on the market that's maybe got a little bit more, will be a little more forgiving, because it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really help. So if you've got these wedges or you've got new wedges, um, get a comment down below. Um, I'd really like to hear from someone if you've changed from like chrome to like a black finish, or if you've changed from like a darker finish to a chrome. Um, how you found it? Do, do you think that the shape does look a lot different? Have you found there's no difference? Why did you do it? Do you mean it would be great to hear why you have been changing and what equipment you've decided to use? I hope to catch you soon.